being healthy is dumb. But alas, here I am. Um, have I run out of video ideas? No, this was an original idea that I wanted to do. So here I am. Um, today I'm gonna be making something healthy that uh, kind of tastes good. Go away. Kind of tastes good. Um, as good as healthy can taste, I guess. I've been trying to be healthy. It's kind of working. So I'm gonna show you what I eat for lunch that helps me stay on a healthy track, but not be like too hungry because it's easy when you want to lose weight to just uh, starve yourself because it, it works. Spoiler alert, it works. But then when you get hungry and you eat, all that weight comes back to you and more. So don't do that. Um, I'm gonna be giving you some tips on how to eat healthy and still lose weight and how to boost your metabolism so that you can eat more. And yeah, working out is important, but working out is only 30% of weight loss. Actually 70% of being healthy is in your diet. So therefore you need to eat good. So here is one of my recipes that I like to make. Okay, so here's all the ingredients I'm using. I'm using gluten-free white bread, these uh, oatmeal clusters, a banana, cinnamon, a lime, almond butter, and just a big thing of water. I've been trying to drink more water recently. I've started out by drinking two of these, which I believe equates to two liters. I know that's not ideal and not enough, but cut me some slack. I am trying, okay? First, we're going to toast our bread. Okay, and then while our bread is toasting, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, don't know how to open a banana, but I'm gonna open my banana. And I always take off the tips because, um, one time someone told me that baby spiders and baby spider eggs live in the tips of bananas. So I always take them off because I hate spiders. And I know that that's probably a myth and it's not true, but I'm not risking eating spiders. So we're taking off the tips. And I just realized you can't see at all what I'm doing, but I'm gonna take the banana and then I'm gonna take my cinnamon then we're just gonna take cinnamon and pour it all over our banana. This is what it should look like, just covered in cinnamon on both sides, but not too much because it's gonna taste disgusting if you put too much on it. And the reason why we put cinnamon on our banana is because one, bananas are good for you and you should be eating a lot of fruit in a day. And two, bananas and cinnamon are both good for your metabolism. What your metabolism is, if you don't know what that is, it um, gives your body the ability to convert food into energy. And if you have a fast metabolism, you basically don't gain as much weight from food, pretty much. So. You wanna boost your metabolism as much as you can and both of these items help with that. So if you eat them together, boom, double the metabolism boost. Okay, now that our bread is nice and toasted, we're just gonna take our almond butter and um, not put too much, but put a nice coat of it on both slices because almond butter is good for you, but not that good for you so you can't just go and eat like a pound of it but a generous coating of it will do so that's what we're gonna do here next we're gonna 
take our little oat cluster things. I got the dark chocolate whole grain clusters. These are super good and they taste just like chocolate, but they only have three grams of sugar in them. And you're only supposed to have around 30-ish grams of sugar a day and that's even pushing it. So you should limit your sugar as much as possible because sugar is not good for you. And that's how you're gonna gain weight. So make sure you check for the sugar content in everything you eat and also check for sodium contents because a lot of people make the mistake of just glazing over the sodium in everything and sodium is not good for you. A little bit, you need a little bit in your diet, but you don't need thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of milligrams, especially in just one meal. So you want to limit your sodium because that'll also help you to lose weight and or, and or maintain a healthy weight. So we're going to put these clusters on our toast because it tastes good because like the almond butter tastes good on its own but I mean adding chocolate to anything makes it taste way better than before so why not especially when this isn't that bad for you so this is basically it for our food and I have to admit that I think I did a pretty good job and this looks good this looks like something that you'd see off of some like healthy fitness person's Instagram and that is definitely not my style but I think I achieved it here and not only does it look good it's going to taste good too and it's going to give you energy for the day and it's going to keep you full without having too many calories too much sugar too much sodium so yeah last but not least we're going to cut off a ooh. We're gonna cut off a little bit of our lime. Just not, just a fairly thick slice, but not too much. And then we're going to take our water. I like to drink life water. I don't know why. I kind of just like the pretty like artwork they put on the front. You can't see that, sorry. Go buy one and you can see it for yourself. And then I'm just gonna try and squeeze a little bit of this into my water and the reason why I'm putting lime in my water instead of lemon like a normal person is because lime not only helps in the aid of digestion it also helps to boost your metabolism and that's what we need so we have three things boosting our metabolism in just one meal not only that but lime tastes pretty good in water I think so Okay, one more thing. I always advocate for taking as many vitamins as you possibly can. And two of the vitamins that I take every day are these women's energy metabolism and bone support. So more metabolism boosting. And I also take these B12 because they help in transferring food into energy. So you can feel more energetic throughout the day without having to drink a ton of caffeine like I do anyways. Um, so yeah, take your vitamins. They're actually helpful. It might feel like at first that they're not doing anything, but after a while, if you stick with it, they actually can really help you feel better. So. All right, so here is our lunch. I hope you, I hope this helped somehow someone out there um, I really am all about health and fitness but yeah the one thing to remember is losing weight is 70% diet and 30% exercise so make sure that you're not just exercising and eating junk every day make sure you're eating clean as well and that's how you're going to see results so yeah that's that all right, ooh, my hair, what is that? Thank you so much for watching this. I know it's kind of a different, more slow paced, calm video from me and it's not something I normally do, but it's something that I feel passionate about and I'm trying to make videos that I actually care about.
instead of just screaming in your face all the time. So if this was helpful for you or if you at least kind of enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe because um, YouTube has cut all my ad revenue money because I am not up to their standards so I need to get my subscribers up so I'm not putting so much time and effort into something and uh, seeing no results. So uh, yeah, that's that. Make sure to show some support if you believe in me. It means a lot. Um, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day and that's it. Peace out.